Hello, welcome to Melanin and Halby Night Live. I am Lady Abebola. Today we'll be doing Q&A, question and answers. Um, I've been sent so many questions, um, requesting some information about the gang stalking program. And today we'll be doing Q&A. So, I'm gone and ride along with me. Hello. Welcome to Melanin and Happy Night Live. I am Lady Abimbola. I am an activist against the gang stalking program, the racist system, and the abuse of the fundamental human rights. I have been um, a targeted individual for about 15 years now. My gang stalking started in the city, the, uh, the province of Milan, Italy, where I reside. In Europe for those of you that don't know where um, Italy is and um, the gang stalking program it's a very deceptive manipulative and strategically orchestrated program so there's always the necessity to know what the target is doing at every particular time because the gang stalkers use this information to orchestrate plans on how to destroy the targeted individuals. And their major uh, weapon is deception, lies, and shame campaign. Because when you create a toxic environment around anybody or and against anybody, you kind of uh, choke up the atmosphere of growth, you choke up the atmosphere of peace, you choke up the atmosphere of serenity, which makes it extremely difficult for that, pen for that person to penetrate such an atmosphere. Now, the first, we'll go to the first question on this, que uh, on this Q and A, okay? So, the first question is, The first question is from Highland and it's from uh, Olulokbe, sorry. <laughs> um, it's from Highland by Olulokbe. Olulokbe, its question goes thus As a targeted individual from the melanin race, she wrote African race, but I'm just calling it men and race. Um, as a targeted individual from um, Africa, what has been the most traumatic experience you've had? Well, um, as a targeted individual from um, the melanin continent, um, the most traumatic experience in um, the gang stalking program, you cannot say this or that. The whole purpose is to traumatize the targeted individual, to put them in a toxic environment until um, um, until they, they, they kind of um, they're disorganized or in the sense they're emotionally disorganized until they make drastic decisions. That's the purpose because it's not something, you see, they make it in such a way to make the targeted individual look as if they've done something. That is the more main purpose of the 24 hour surveillance. Because when you go to somewhere, they say how you behave there and what they can accuse you of. You understand? Like for me, I am in Milan right now, and um, I mean, well, the province right now, uh, because I'm um, going to, um, the, there's a court case I have to follow up concerning the theft of my, pro, uh, my, of my properties by the gang stalking, which are the military intelligence are behind this situation. And uh, the military intelligence has every, every, every excuse to protect what is happening from, from me getting justice. Because, you see, right now I'm strategically trying to do the court case because uh, the Italian lawyers um, that I've taken so far 
are being manipulated. So I've changed lawyers five times now. So I find out that they are trying to make them manipulate and there are certain things they want to cut off the court case. So I have to be prudent the way I go about it. Then I will make, I will have the last laugh. But I'm not going to tell you, of course, the details of how I'm going to go about the case. But I realize what they want to do, you, um, and I'm going to go according to, to use their own game against them. Okay? So the traumatic experience, the most traumatic experience, is not just one or two. The, the, the purpose of the, uh, of the program is to traumatize the targeted individual. It's not one or two. It's uh, how they attack you, uh, attack your reputation, the shame campaign you, they make you look like a nuisance or they make you look like an evil person in the society or an irresponsible person in the society. They make you look as if you've done something. That is why the military intelligence, they're after you because there's something you've done that you're just being smart. That is why you're not really portraying the characteristic to people to for people to see they have to back up their lies with different lies each time so um the gang talking uh, program is a traumatic program I mean, there's no one uh, traumatic experience everything they do to you from false accusation from shame campaign from the theft of your property from trying to isolate the person from the society from uh, maligning that person's character from trying to um um, from trying to blackball you from the society, from trying to destroy your your wealth, your finances, because the Bible says the wealth of the of the uh, of the rich man is a fortified world around him. So I understand vividly why they are particularly in my own case attacking my wealth because they want me to get into a position of vulnerability. Right now, when I travel, I do things. They try to go along and to you know accuse me each place because you know it, no matter how much you move, they will come with you with the same story of false accusation to stigmatize your character to put you in a questionable questionable um um let people look at you with questionable character that you've done something they want to present you that you're somebody of of little value in the society where irony is the case most of the time the targeted individuals are people of high moral standards people that refuse to bow to the worship of the beast people that refuse to Three, people that refuse to allow their soul to be sold or people that allow, does not allow you know you have people that they are conditioned they just flow with the with the wind when there's a situation somewhere and everybody's accusing somebody they just don't to accuse that person when people are doing something they just join to do that thing not because they really want to do it out of their heart they just do it because they want to they are people pleaser but the targeted individual most of the time are not people they are people of they have um, they are free-minded people, you know. You they drink freely. They don't allow. They don't allow social. To, I mean, they don't allow themselves to be socially conditioned, you know, and uh, so, social mindset. That they are not people like that. But they want to present you as if you're just one non-entity in the in the in the society or people of look. Like for example, um. Um, the gang stalking program, uh, they have attacked my own um, work several times. You understand? So if you say trauma, it is traumatic when your source of income is being sabotaged. You say that's the, the word. They sabotage myself as income. They actually tell um, working agencies not to employ me. They tell working agency not to employ me, and each time I find the, the work myself without working agency, then they tell the agents. I mean, they tell the uh, my employers to relieve me for one reason or the other, and um, I try to do my online marketing thing, and um, you know, for so many things hindered me from actually. Um, um, how will I put it now? Uh, from uh, making it function. Let me just put it that way. So anyway, um, it is a traumatic uh, program, so it's not just one thing, okay? So the second one is from the second the second one is from here in Italy. It's from one Antonella, and this Antonella is writing. This Antonella is writing from um. Sesto, Sesto, Sesto San Giovanni actually is um, it's like in the province of Milan, okay. Um, and the question is that um, 
how can you free yourself from the harassment of the uh, military intelligence that are the main um, that are the main factor in this persecution against you well um how can i free myself it's very very funny you know uh but it's a very nice question you don't free yourself from satanic unclutch or you don't free yourself from um deliquence uh the gang stalking program as i said before is a is a, a, a program of persecution it's an artistic program of persecution harassment and um they just want to they you know they want to ruin the life of that person but you have to know it's not a program they just wake up one day and decide they decided to harass you or they just wake up one day they just choose you to for the persecution that's not how it works this is actually a program that bunch of mentally sick psychopaths came together not in in this country where I live it's a global thing okay you know you hear all kind of things today that they're trying to uh, population they want to reduce the population they tell you about uh, population control they talk about um, uh, they talk about uh, they are making experiment for this experiment for that but unfortunately if what most people don't know is that you and I are always the target for whatever experiment they are doing okay whatever experiment experiment they are doing um, illegal experiment done by um, people in a position of power it's a very very terrible thing it's not an individual harassing or attacking us otherwise they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to to trace you so fast they wouldn't be able to clone your phone my, my own phone is cloned my phone is cloned and so many times i unclone it i try to so do so many things but you know it's just a matter what they do is that before they clone your phone they they can get beside you in a bus and i'm very very vigilant you know i'm extremely sensitive to them now i know their network i know how they move i know that sometimes they can enter the bus and they're coming out in the next stop so before the next stop they want to clone your phone immediately sometimes they can pretend as if they're they're texting and everything you know now that everybody has a smartphone they're doing so many things you just feel you know maybe it, it, it's an innocent text no 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 no. like i was in milan when i went to the lawyer the last time actually three people actually tried to clone my phone and when i realized it they i was looking at the um uh he was looking at his phone and walking towards he saw me from well, why i how i identify the person is that you know um you know he was looking at me and uh from from where he entered and he looked at me i our eyes met and uh he came towards my direction i pretend as he was writing on the, uh, you know something you know you just have to have a discernment spirit okay but sometimes it may not be so but you see for me i have been involved in this situation for 15 years so i am more i can you know maybe somebody in new into it you can say okay the same maybe it's maybe it's a stalk, um is a perpetrator a stalker or not you can it can be a dicey situation but mine is almost 90 percent accurate you know because i know the signs they give to themselves and so so when they see you, you know most of the time some of them they will not look at yourself sometimes they will just look at you and take their eyes away a normal person will look at at you maybe they just look at your side and they, they just don't remove their eyes um when you, maybe you're not just for no reason like that but when you see they just look and you know when your eyes go toward the direction they quickly remove their eyes or they pretend to be you know you just a kind of guilty conscience you understand so uh, you 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 can understand them the more you're into the program uh the more years you uh, experience you have the more you can easily the same um the, the the perpetrators and the stalkers so this guy was just coming and when i saw him with the the smartphone he was coming close to me actually i it was a dicey situation for me i wasn't so sure if it was just an innocent text message is sending or is so what i did was to be sure i'm not um i'm accurate about my suspicions about the guy so it came to you see there was no chair at my back in the bus i intentionally went there you know so that i can control i can have my eyes on the on the in, in the bus because at the back you can see everything so he came to my back and went beyond so instead of sitting down he stood up and he was still so what i did i just ripped open my phone and i took away the battery immediately there was no time for, because you see when they're already trying to clone the phone and you are trying to switch off in a normal way um you may probably just actually even help them clone it faster because sometimes when they clone it when you they, they they freeze the phone when the phone is frozen then you have to switch off your phone and 
or, or open it again that way you actually help them to reboot the phone and you just connect into the network to their network so the best way to do it when you, sus you are suspicious just remove your battery and rip off your battery immediately that is like um to jump start you know to just disconnect the the phone so when i did that and i looked back i saw no i just heard him say uh in, uh, in, in, uh, echo, uh, 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 that in Italian echo, aspento is like, um, just like you say, oh my, okay, oh, there, there we go again. She has switched off the phone, you know, well, not the phone, he said, she has switched it off. You understand? You don't do such a thing, I said, oh, you just talk to yourself and say, oh, okay, here, 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 here she goes again, she has switched it off. You know, it, it didn't say she has switched it off, but she has switched it off. Okay, let's just assume it's coincidence discussion. Okay, it's a coincidence that he just said maybe he's talking to himself or whatever, but which it's not in this case. And, um, okay, let's assume it's coincidence and she has switched it off. And switching it off, what does that mean? I've disconnected from him cloning so what did it happen the next stop it came down and another came in i mean sometimes i usually you say when i can understand sometimes when people say you you know you become paranoid or whatever but you see exactly that's what the one people that's why in my own case i don't like to talk about oh they're they're, they're coming against me they're working with me you yeah, see this person see that person because when you begin to do that People will see you as being paranoid because how can you, how are you so sure this person is following you? But you see, as in the gang stalking program, they network you 24/7. But what they do is that what they do is that they make sure that not just one person stalks you. Sometimes maybe one person, a group of people, or four or five or three can stalk you. But when you when you say you are sensitized to towards those three people following you. <laughs> They are connecting themselves, and they are, so what? And they are connecting themselves, and another, another, another group is going to get into the bus or the train or whatever you have. But you know what actually makes me wonder? We are really in a terrible situation in the world right now, because if they have that much people available to enter and come out of the train, to enter and come out of buses, to enter and come out of or, of plane or whatever, then we're really in, in a serious situation. And that's why somebody like me put my life out there to tell you about the gang stalking program. Gang stalking program doesn't mean I have done anything or people that think that, oh, the seven sons of Skeva, you know, maybe she, 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 she pretends to be an anointed woman and everything, they beat the living dead out, out of her, demons or whatever. You know, that's African mentality. They always think every Everything that happens to them is always a demon, it's always the devil. Yes, I'm not saying the demons are not involved, I'm not saying the devil is not involved, but also give responsibility to whom it is actually supposed to be given to, which is the human being being used as an instrument of destruction by the devil. So you don't say the devil, yes, of course, the gang stalking program, the devil is solidly behind them. The demons are the ones using them to be more stone-hearted and wicked and afflict you, you know? but it is the human that performs the whatever action. The deformation is not, the, the, the deformation, the, who, the human avails themselves, then the demon speaks through them to defend, to slander somebody's character. So that is just it. You, it's not a program you remove yourself from. It is actually a problem, a program of superiority. The more you're superior in the spiritual realm, the more um, they will be fearful of you and they will stay at, you know, at arm's length. It, it, the Satan never gives up on, on any soul, but they will respect your superiority and the anointing upon your life, okay? And that is the reason in the first place they are harassing you because you are not like everybody they are manipulating. You are not like anybody that is useful to them to be to be used to destroy human race. You are not like everybody that they can jump in demons can jump into and use and jump out of at any time. You are not like just everybody. So the only thing is that you have to identify. Sometimes you see the, the motive for the 24 hours harassment is to stress you out to work. I mean, I got to a time I was really very, very bitter, very angry, uh, angry and everything. And I began to say, I, I, I stood before a mirror one day. I said, but this is not me. Who is this? This is not me in the sense that, I mean, what I say and uh, some words I use shocks me myself and things. Are, and um, I was, I was in tears one day. I said, no, this is not me. And this program is getting me towards the direction. And, you know, I, 
this sweet soft voice convince my spirit you know the devil may not be able to use you physically to do something but it will make you sin against god blasphemy hatred bitterness unforgiveness all those things and that way it has a rope on your neck and it's dragging you to where it wants you to be so even though you are not physically participating or willfully participating in anything seen or destructive thing that will make the um the devil lay claims on your life but even you know some things that comes out of our mouth in this case my own mouth you know i plead guilty for that you know my own mouth and um it was because of the bitterness in me it was because of the hunger in me it was because of the fact that i'm a very intelligent um industrious hard working woman i've worked so much in this europe i come from i mean uh, they've stripped me off of my wealth and i feel justified in my anger and um, I'm doing a court case and uh, they are manipulating lawyers, which is provoking my spirit. I'm traveling up and down. I don't have, you know, all those finances. Go fund me. Um, yeah, there is a question about go fund, go fund me here. And uh, I will just... Um, I would also read that i intentionally pick one because i'm not going to read all the questions and uh, questions so uh, there's a question about go find me um and i will just read it it's going to be the next one i'm going to read now so basically you know um they they, they, they do so many things in fact they are trying to invade my account and banks have been instructed not to open a new account for me so my accounts are just the ones i have you understand where they are trying to make a, the last time i was there um i was asking that i wanted my statement of some funny me movement on my account and um you know uh, the, the 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 director of the bank um went to make a call behind whatever and um came and was texting something and you know i was, what is a texting when you're supposed to be working you understand so i mean this is also we know when a country of mafia you know they have an history of mafia here in italy where i live so of course the gang stalking program is um um flows very easy probably compared to other other nations you know i don't know how it is in other nations the details but according to what people say other targeted individuals according to how they speak definitely is intense also okay so you cannot get out of this um, gang stalking situation you just have to make your superiority known through Christ Jesus and that's the reason you know bitterness anger all those things I'm working on it because I, I will be concerned I'm a very sincere person you know it's something you go in and out in and out in and out but uh, we have to get to a state whereby you don't let them control you because what they're trying to do is to let the toxic environment around you get into you and when it gets into you it begins to create an atmosphere of so much destruction that you begin to be auto destructive in the spiritual realms okay so it's not something you get away or you get out of you know the military intelligence have, have made their choice in life to be useful to the enemy of god's people but of course as a child of the most high god i know that not all the law enforcement agents are involved in this they are just receiving orders they're obeying orders being given to them by the ones that actually are behind this gang stalking program gang stalking program is an experiment carried out on the human race is an abuse of the human fundamental right when the human right says that everyone has a right to work if they choose to except they they have a disability or whatever i have been working all my life i've worked all my life but they they have strategically followed me they put gps in my properties they steal my the theft of my properties in different places they are the military intelligence are the ones that give or, or give orders to these people where i live and when they steal my money to so there have been several attempts to steal this property that has been stolen now but what they try to do is to separate me from my own people who already was uh, uh, extremely jealous of my wealth you know 
Hello, I'm Lady Abimbola. I'm against narcissistic gang stalkers. Please help me with the campaign against the gang stalkers, the campaign and awareness against the gang stalking programming, an evil persecution and harassment against the human race. It has claimed many lives. Please help me. Below are information on how you can donate. Thank you. All your efforts will be highly appreciated. Thank you. Gang stalking is a criminal act committed illegally against humanity. We have lost far too many souls and people to this Antichrist program. Support my campaign against gang stalking. If you are neutral in position of injustice, you have chosen the path of the oppressor. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Whatsoever affects one directly affects all indirectly. It's that is why I believe the best justice targeted individuals can do for themselves is to expose this evil attack against free-willed individuals who has been targeted for persecution and regular community harassment. Targeted individuals all over the world are coming out of hiding and speaking up. We declare war against evil. I am happy about this. They won't leave us alone, but we will continue to expose their evil and the Antichrist spirit behind them. Hatred of those who are for Christ. And as long as we stick together, we can make the world a better place. Say no to gang stalking. Say no to the destruction of humans. Special thanks to my Creator God who has divinely protected and provided and directed me to my sweet Jesus, my Redeemer, my Savior, my Advocate in heaven, never leaving me, to my precious Holy Spirit, who lift up a standard against the principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. I am here today, not by my might, nor by my power, but by the Spirit of the Most High God.